Well, I think one of the things that uh, can be done by uh, people in the community is to be reasonable in their relations with the, with the police. Now, when I say be reasonable, I don't mean to be non-critical. But as I said before, let's uh, not let our criticism so cut the ground out from under the law enforcement men that we don't have any place on which to stand. I'm wondering what, uh, how feasible would it be if these particular policemen on the beat, in the uniform, would start forming, uh, you might say, conversation clubs. At least he'll know this particular policeman when he sees him, he'll know about his name, the policeman will know the youngster about his You said that you don't have continuity of assignments or posts. And they did have this previously, didn't they? Where a man, you got to know the man in your, on your beat. And when you have a different man every week or every other week, he's not familiar with it. And this takes away some of your communication. I don't mean to put you on the spot. I hope that this is not a fair question. But doesn't the police department recognize the value of having a Negro captain commanding the precinct to the extent of thinking of putting more Negro captains commanding the precinct in Negro areas? Uh, on the question of additional um, Negro patrol, if you feel uh, that uh, you'd want to have additional uh, Negro police officers, you know, of course, that uh, after uh, the disturbances last summer, additional Negro personnel was assigned to the precincts here in the Harlem area. If you feel that you would like to see uh, an even larger number of Negro officers, there's no reason why you can't, through your organization, make this type of a, uh, a demand or request. No reason why you can't do it at all. Uh, I think that as the days broaden, as you give us more patrolmen, better patrolmen, we're going to get more sergeants, we're going to get more lieutenants, we're going to get more cash. Later in the evening, as music filtered into the meeting room from a dance next door, Celia got around to discussing talk of police brutality. My um, remarks to one thing you said, uh, and that is the fact that the hoodlum is able to cry into police brutality or discrimination or whatever the case may be to get off with uh, some uh, illegal act that he is doing. I think this is something that we as people in the community have got to put a stop to. But this is a tactic of a homo. He knows the temperament of people today. He knows how powerful the racial issue is. And he seeks to utilize it for his own advantage. And as I pointed out before, his advantage can only be the disadvantage of the decent citizens in the community. We have got to recognize that if a man is wrong, regardless of what his color is, this is a man or a woman, regardless of what his color is, we as decent citizens of the community are going to back our police force. I tell you, a policeman's a human being. I know if it happened to me, if it happened to me out there on the street, you wouldn't see me knocking myself off the local those residents. I do my job, but I wouldn't give that extra. That makes the difference. I know for certain that no one in here could tell me that if they walked out here tonight and walked into the arms of one of these woods out here and he saw a cop coming, he's not going to look up to find out whether it's a white or a colored cop. <laughs>